Now remember, Jesus didn't come here to feed people fish. What did he come here to do? Teach them how to fish. He taught them how to be contributors. And this is what he wants us to do. According to the Great Commission, he doesn't tell us to be disciples. What does he tell us to do? Go make disciples of all nations. This means we are to teach people how to be contributors. Jesus called us to be disciple makers and contributors for God's kingdom. From within our friends group, extroverts and introverts alike are becoming better equipped and supported to carry out his great commission. Does that make you feel a little uncomfortable? Well, I think God is less concerned with our comfort as he is with us contributing to his commission. God is less concerned with my comfort, your comfort, than he is with you and me carrying out his commission. And we don't need to know everything. For years I thought I did until I would finally arrive and then I could tell people about him. But the early disciples of that early church didn't either. In fact, most of those disciples in the early church didn't have the New Testament like we have. And they were disciple makers. They were contributors. And that's what being the church is all about. Contributing from what you know and teaching others to do the same. You know, the gospel means good news. And the gospel being good news, when you hear good news, you want to share it. I know I do. You don't want to keep it to yourself. So it's time we share the good news outside of ourselves by leading others. Your age doesn't matter. Your level of education doesn't matter. Your situation doesn't matter. Hear that again. Your age doesn't matter. Your level of education doesn't matter. And your situation doesn't matter. If you are capable of speaking, writing, or typing, you can share the gospel with someone. All you need to do is lead them to the good news of Jesus, and the Holy Spirit does the rest. 